What is going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Delicious Charles in this particular blog. Now, I don't think I've made a video about her ever. I did discuss her briefly in a recent live stream about her complaining that her fiance wants to have relations a little bit too much to her liking. But she made some recent comments that have made me want to do a video because we have a movement of females that is kind of under the radar. You know, everybody's so concerned about men going their own way and men traveling. They're more concerned about that than they are the movement of women seeking to be gold diggers. Women who are seeking to date men just for their money, use them for their money and not care, you know? That has gone on under the radar, but y'all care so much about where men travel, okay? That just shows you, man, you know, women don't want to lose their attention, especially women in this country. They don't want to lose your attention and they don't want to lose your thirst or, you know, to other women. You know, they, they need a fresh supply of men giving them attention and thirst, you know, every single day. But Delicious was actually giving an interview to a one by the name of Kendra G. And she was discussing how people think that she is with her fiance, Raymond Santana, because of the settlement money that he got, which was around, I believe, three point nine million. Now, y'all know she is a former reality TV personality. Uh, she claims to be a brand ambassador. She calls herself the walkaway queen. OK videos of her just walking in front of a camera showing her assets which is probably what attracted Raymond to her but I, I want to say this you know it's 2020 and we still don't know what delicious does career wise I mean she says she's a brand ambassador but what does that mean okay <laughs> what does that mean like seriously uh, just say that you're an IG model okay that's all you got to say um, you're trying to dress it up to make it seem like you're big, you know, you're a bigger deal than you are, but you're not. Um, I don't really see you doing a ton of mainstream interviews. I don't really see you out there like that, you know, but she says some things and I thought that was really interesting. She's basically saying she never dated him for his money because, you know, she had her own thing going on, you know? And she also said that she didn't pray to God for a broke dude. Okay. She wanted a guy that had qualities and it also had, you know, his own finances. And it's very interesting because women don't care about those things until, you know, post wall, because women for years will date broke men, broke men, especially if it's a broke dude that physically is attractive to a lot of women they're winning out here this is why a lot of women have to reprogram themselves to you know either be more feminine to attract men with money and resources or just become a flat out gold digger you know um, but a lot of women are dating men just off of the man's aesthetics and they are the ones who are paying for that guy's attention you know so the fact that Delicious is acting like it took her all these years to find a guy with those qualities and not only that has his own money, I think she's been a little bit disingenuous. There's a lot of successful men who have qualities. You overlook them because they don't have a certain look that you like. Now, she did say that she wanted a guy that she was attracted to, but I question whether she's really attracted to Raymond. I, I think the one thing about Raymond that she's attracted to is his activism because women like her want to be validated. Just look at the men they end up dating. They want to date men who are activists. They want to date men who are quote unquote socially conscious because they want to repackage their image. Look at look at Kim Kardashian. She wants to repackage her image as someone who's helping people get out of jail. And she's been doing a good job, you know, of that in some people's eyes. Most people still see her as Kim K. But she's done a very good job of trying to change the narrative of her life, you know, and who she is. 
she wants to study law she wants to follow in her father's footsteps so to speak she wants to help people you know she wants to go to bat for them she wants she wants to be an activist now she didn't get with Kanye because you know he's a activist I'm just saying like you know she was considered just all about her looks nothing else and she wants to change that the same thing with uh delicious delicious wants to change the narrative so when she says that she's not with raymond because of his money i somewhat agree with that but then out of her own mouth she said that she didn't want no broke dude so we know that money played a factor into it him having money just helped her want to get with him but i think she's really attracted to the fact that he is an activist and she wants to be a part of it she wants to change um just how people view her but when you call yourself on your own instagram the walk away queen um i don't think people's perception of you is going to change very much you have to want to change now i told y'all early in the video that she complained that raymond wanted to have relations with her a lot you know in listen any woman in a relationship with a guy especially if they ain't been together that long uh he's gonna want to smash a lot and you're his girlfriend so what are you gonna do you know are you gonna refuse him are you gonna give him a pitch count that only a certain amount of times a week like seriously that's why these dudes have side chicks but when you have somebody who's more exhausted from all the different men that she's dealt with and trust and believe she's dealt with a lot of dudes in the industry just very low-key because she even said it in her interview uh, in this video that, that she did that she asked Raymond would he be okay publicly claiming her and that was the first sign of why she was with him and that there's insecurity there um, there's been talk that she has had work done on her face and if you look at her pictures from about 10 years ago and you look at her now yes she might have had some work done but again she, she was a little bit heavier then uh, she's lost some weight since uh, I don't doubt she's had work done, uh, but they're they're not gonna say they had work done because they probably had light work done. And to them, light work doesn't mean any work. Um, but I believe she does. She's had some work done, some different places on her. But they want to claim that they're all natural. Like you got chicks that will get the fat transfers and then claim they didn't have any work done. Um, fat transfers is work done. You you basically, you you went under the knife, basically. So you had work done, but either way, that's your choice. But, you know, back with Delicious. I truly believe the activism is what drove her to him. The fact that she had to ask him, is he okay, okay claiming her publicly? Uh, once again, that just shows you how she feels about herself. And I'm pretty sure she's asked that question to a lot of the different guys she's dealt with. She's been in the industry, been a part of the industry for a long time. Um, I, I, I think that she's probably uh, under the radar and out of the public eye because she seems very calculating. Uh, she's very calculating. And I think she understands. But she's a she's a industry vet as far as women is concerned, as far as these women who be in the industry. For whatever reason, she's a vet. She understands it. And she understands how to utilize it to her benefit. And she understands perception. She understands, you know, not going public, not, you know, putting things out there. And the thing is, is that with Raymond, she saw a guy who she can reinvent herself with, you know. And she also spoke about how she sort of changed up her look uh, with Raymond and that Raymond even noticed it. Um, I don't think she really may have changed up anything. I just think it's all a part of her being very calculating and her being able to understand him better than he understands her. You know, you have a woman who she doesn't want to change who she, who she is, but then she does, you know, but what she has to understand is when you're out there, you know, walking in front of a, a uh, in front of a phone, recording your, your 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 backside, and you're putting up some of the posts that you put up, people are going to view you a certain way. Okay, 
they're gonna view you a certain way and you have to understand that and i think that she does but she wants to feign ignorance like oh you know i'm not with him for his money we know you're not with him for his money you're with him because of his activism let's be real you know that's why she's with them and i want people to understand something i want people to understand something okay she fiercely defended this relationship at the beginning right she fiercely uh defended it right then you go on to complain that the guy that you fiercely defended being in a relationship with wants to sleep with you more now you gotta understand we got a quarantine going on so that might be a, a part to play in it but it seems to me that if you are attracted to this guy and you really like him you would have no problem giving him what, giving it to him when he wants it but if you are somebody who's exhausted from the amount of dizics that you've dealt with uh it, it gets to a point to where you know uh you're exhausted and you know you, you you think that because he's your age and he's what like 45 you think he wants to have less relations but you'd be sadly mistaken you know older men are getting it in just as much as the young guys are i think that's the common mistake with a lot of women delicious age because she's 42 they think they get with an older guy that he's gonna want it less he may want it more you know um and I just feel like just by listening to her recent videos, even with him, it just seems like she's in a reflective mood, like almost like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> <You know? laughs> but if you look at some of her recent posts, man, she is trying to switch the image up, which is what a lot of these Instagram models want to do. They want to thought it out. They want to, you know, slur it up on social media date dudes behind the scenes fly out to dubai like delicious has As a matter of fact she has she has it posted on her ig page like she's proud of it but anyway it's all about perception and oh, oh yeah she also said one other thing that really caught my attention she said that she wants some wants a man who is going to accept the fact that she is thotty you know, in public, attention seeker in public, but it's wholesome in private. Um, shouldn't that be the other way around? Shouldn't you be wholesome in public, but then completely slorish in private? <laughs> it just shows you where her mindset and her priorities are. It is about appealing to every other man or female other than the person that they are actually with that is the thing that's what they're used to and that is a part of themselves that they're not going to change for anybody not even somebody they want to marry <laughs>